How you doing, good people? This is the Bed Animal. Okay, so I got something that I want to talk about, and I'm a couple of days late with this. Forgive me, but um, it's something that's really irking me right now. It seems the trolls and fanboys are getting worse and worse with every console generation, and this year, right now, is getting utterly ridiculous. Um, first, there was the guy who was uh, killed for his PlayStation 4. Prayers and condolences to his family for that. Because that needed not happen. Um, and it's probably not the only instance of that happening. So if anybody, if that's happened to anybody, prayers and condolences, man. That shouldn't have happened to you. Um, secondly... There was the kid who was um, who was scammed out of an Xbox One on eBay. Was scammed for like seven hundred bucks. Uh, was told that it was an Xbox One, paid his money, and got a picture of an Xbox One in the mail. You got to be real careful the stuff that you buy on eBay. Make sure that you're not getting screwed and scammed by people, man. Be really careful. Uh, thankfully, that had a happy ending. eBay got him his money back, and a retailer over in the UK, where the guy was from, was they donated him a system. So not only did he get his money back, but he got his got his console. So good things do happen to people, man. Don't think that the world is full of just is just rife with scumbags. Um, finally. The last thing I wanted to talk about is probably the most messed up thing that I've heard about. Well, the two instances. One, um, people's PSN accounts are being compromised again. Uh, so, there are reports floating out there and they're coming out more and more that people, um, that their, their stuff is being jacked, they're being fished, and their banking information is being stolen via PSN. Be really careful with the information that you put on these consoles, man. Make sure that your stuff is, is secure. Um, if you got to log in and log out when you, you know, manually log in and log out if you have to, because we saw how vulnerable Sony's infrastructure is a few years ago when PSN was just down for a month. So be very careful. Be mindful of these things because they happen. And apparently they are going to continue to happen. Um, and finally, the most sinister thing uh, as far as as far as you know early adopters and gamers are concerned, because they might not care too much about that banking information, but what I'm about to talk about, they'll really care about, especially the Microsoft fanboys. Um, there's an image floating around the internet, and this image looks like it's official from Microsoft, like it's an official Microsoft document. And on this document are instructions to unlock the ability to to play your Xbox 360 games on your Xbox One. And what these instructions do is they they actually they open a debug menu, which I don't know why that's even still on the Xbox One retail consoles. That doesn't make sense. But they unlock that's opened up. And then as if you follow those instructions correctly, it'll put your console in a constant reboot in a constant booting cycle. In a constant reboot cycle. Which means that your console is going to constantly restart. And you'll never be able to play it. It effectively bricks your five hundred dollar Xbox One. Now, I don't know why this was supposed to be a good idea for gamers. You know, why people thought this was cute and funny, but it's messed up. And I wonder if there are PlayStation fanboys out, Sony fanboys out there who would be equally upset by something like this. Because at the end of the day, it's 
this weird battle for superiority between Microsoft and Sony when at the end of the day, you know, they're going to get the same their their consoles are for the most part going to have most of their libraries are going to be identical. There's going to be very little differentiating differentiating those consoles. So why this this alleged beef over something that doesn't really matter is out there, I don't know. But long story short, at the end, just be mindful of the stuff that's that's coming out there. If Major Nelson comes out and says that it's not a real thing, it's not a real thing because. In with regards to Microsoft, be mindful. Be don't trust everything that you get off the internet. I'm just saying. This has been a bit animal. Y'all have a good day, man. I'll catch you next time. Okay?